Milestones of the Century. The world of photography, past and present, opens to us at Eastman House in Rochester, New York. Here we see the ancient techniques when portraits were a tedious task. The negative plates in the camera sometimes required up to eight minutes of exposure during which the subject was required to remain completely rigid. A brace helped keep the head motionless. In the days before electricity, the sun and reflectors provided the photographer with the only effective method of lighting his subject. Ready now? He removes the camera's lens cap to expose the plate. When the cap was replaced, the young lady could sigh with relief and wait for the prints, which looked just like this. With the invention of the revolutionary dry plate process, bulky equipment gave way to small secret cameras. They were disguised as common objects so that candid pictures could be taken. Cameras were even made to resemble revolvers. Pulling the trigger released the shutter. The cylinder held 10 tiny negative plates. General Oscar M. Solbert, director of Eastman House, demonstrates another of the secret cameras. This one cleverly concealed in the head of a walking stick. An intricate series of cogs and wheels enabled the owner to take several pictures without reloading his cane camera. One of the tiniest spy cameras was secreted in a necktie. Still another was this camera, hidden in the 19th century pocket watch. It, too, was made possible by the dry plate process. Photographers could buy ready-made plates, expose them anytime, and develop them at their leisure. Photography now belonged to the millions. Among the many priceless photographs at Eastman House are Matthew Brady's Civil War pictures. Wagon darkrooms enable Brady to travel with the armies of the North and South. Union volunteers reporting for duty. Confederate artillery poised for battle. Confederate cannon, fortifications, and tents in Atlanta. And one of the best known photographs of the period, President Lincoln visiting General McClellan at Antietam. Here at Eastman House, history has come alive through the lens of the camera. The Magic Eye, preserving for us and for generations yet to come a living record, an unbiased chronicle of momentous milestones of the centuries.